View Audio Technic are at the high end of the market in the Maya DMB uh, L Acoustic territory. Yeah, definitely. And look, this this is what we're looking at here is two products from the H Class series. We've got right. an H12W and an HS28. So the H12W is 12 and horn, mm -hmm. um, something like 800 watts. Uh, constant power to the LF driver in this yep. and about 270-ish to the HF driver. And the HF's beryllium. Yeah, this is this is something quite revolutionary. Um, the, the beryllium has a higher stiffness to mass ratio than things like aluminium. So the idea is that you can get better high frequency reproduction without being subject to things like audible breakup. Okay. Um, it, it's got a higher resonant frequency in fact. So it's a four inch voice coil, high frequency driver, which is as big as they get. They're both four inch voice coils. Yeah, interesting um, stuff. And yeah, there's definitely no shortage of high end on this. Okay. Interestingly, the, um, the DSP drive for this, the software, what do they call that? System view. System view doesn't let you get inside and muck around with the settings, which I think is terrific. I think that foils people like you, Jimmy, because the first it thing does. guys like you... The first you, thing people like me do is fiddle you with You young it. guys, all you want to do is improve on the factory setting. I've seen you do it. Yeah, I've yeah. seen you try I'm to do not going to deny it. I'm not going to deny trying. Try to do it. Um, yeah, look, the, what they've done there is I think they've actually guaranteed some consistency. Which is the holy in, grail in, for... You know, an H12W is going to sound like an it's, H12W that's what everywhere you, all the time. You've got to have that. You, you've got internal DSP, internal amplifier. You don't want some brash young fellow dicking with your factory settings, do you, Jimmy? No. Thank Julius. you for admitting it. The sub. Interesting the sub. device. 218's loaded different. Yeah, we've got a front loaded and a bandpass loaded 18 and they have a common chamber vent. So, so you're a bit country, I'm a bit rock and roll. I, I like my 18's bandpass, you like them front loaded. So it's really... I like my subs detailed and terrifying and this is all of that. 80 hertz and under, which implies this guy's very effective from 80 hertz and over. Oh, this guy's effective from lower than 80 hertz. Interesting times. So it's an omnidirectional sub. It's heavily amplified. It's self-contained. It's yeah. very interesting. Yeah, look, there's, there's there's a lot of weight in it too. It's sort of, I think it's about 90 kilos. So it's not a one well, person lift. But, I mean, that's that's par for the course with subs these days. Mm. Um, and that's, that's another point about this. Like this is for a 12 and a horn box very heavy um, and I think that's really just reflective of the the massive build quality on it. Interesting uh, paint finish on this grill. Yeah you'll notice it's, it's actually it's not quite black there's there's one layer of candy apple red that goes through there and just little things like that and you know the embossing on the handles and just the overall construction of this stuff is beautiful. You'd like those features. I really do.